Let's have a look at designing uh, with the primitives in Design Spark Mechanical. Uh, when we boot it up, the first thing we're confronted with is this. Uh, we don't need this for this little tutorial, so we'll get rid of that. And we are presented immediately with a sketch part. It's orientated um, in this view, isometric view but we can make it face us directly by pressing this little icon and there we have it facing us. Uh, we have our primitives up here. We'll start with a simple line. Drag to draw a straight line or click to create each point of a polyline. Then double click to end the line. So we'll just draw a simple line Click to drag. I'll oh, do that again. Start again. I didn't do that right. Click and drag. And there we have uh, some parameters we can key in. So we'll make that 25. And hit the tab bar. We go to the degrees. What shall we make that? 30 degrees and hit enter and there we have a line 30 degree angle 25 long and we can continue to add a further line so we'll finish there we've drawn a line, simple line, good now we will select the rectangle click and drag and unlike cubify we have real time parameters we can key in so by pressing the space bar we can leave it and we can type our own in say 30 tab key by 10 enter what could be simpler uh, we now have a circle click and drag I'm holding the left key down at the moment hit the space bar key in a value enter key and we have a circle still with the circle Selected another one, space bar five millimeters. Enter, we get a circle five millimeters diameter. Now, then, here we have tangent line. Click on tangent line, and we can draw a tangent from there to there. How neat is that? And it's telling us it's at 300.8 degrees and 16.432 millimeters long. <clears throat> we also have a three point rectangle. We can click and drag and then drag up and we can key in. Then return, we've got an angled rectangle. Ellipse, ellipse, click, drag. Now here we can specify the angle and length. The blue one is the Major axis will make that 20. Tab by 50 degrees. Tab. Now, uh, that was my mistake. I should not have pressed the tab. I should have pressed enter. So we'll key that in again 25. Enter. Now we can stretch out to the mine axis and we make that 10 
end to finish. So that's this lot. This one is construction line. We'll leave that one. And here we have a circle. Well, we've done that. Now we have a three point circle. Now we do not have real time values here. I don't think we can enter anything. No, so we click. Oh, yes, we. Oh, now we've got a diameter. So, oh, that's just a rough, a rough position, and we can specify a diameter. Say twenty. Then do the finish. It's that polygon. So with the polygon now we can specify the radius. It appears to be an inner radius here of so we'll make that make it fifteen tab angle we make that thirty and did a finish. Now it's saying here press F1 for more help or F3 for a video. You see that at the bottom of the pop out. There may be a way of specifying an outer rectangle. I don't know what it is yet. Anyway, those are fine. We now have a tangent arc. Well, I imagine that is similar. So we, can we do a tangent to an ellipse? Ah. We can do a tangent to a straight line. Uh, look, it's going to a straight line. That's nice. Uh, we'll stick with that one tangent to an arc now we also have three point arc one two and the radius five enter oh, and Can we change that to 230? Enter. Yes. Oh, it's, it's, it's altered the diameter to suit. What happens if we change that? Do we say 7? Hmm. Interesting. A sweep arc, click to set the arc center, click to set the radius and and start point. Right. Center radius. That's nice.
spline what can we do with spline click very good create a point a rounded corner yes that looks quite smart and we've got a little bit left there Again, on something else. So of course, we have a rounded corner there and there. That's it. Eight millimeter. Now we can change that to sample five, three, and a key. Three and a key. That works well. Offset curve. I'm not sure what this means. All right, we've we've got an offset line. I see. Right. It's another line, same as the one you select, and then you can place that. And there you go, and you can space that off two millimeters. Very nice. Yeah, good. And we'll leave that one for the time. I think that's fairly good. I've got no uh, criticisms of that at all. That's beautiful. Thanks for watching.